In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Today, as we prayer, prepare for this sacred liturgy, like Thomas, we are called to believe in our Lord Jesus. Strengthened by the Spirit, let us ask for God's mercy and he help each other to grow in faith given to us by Christ. Lord Jesus, you redeemed us in your blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, we are reborn in your spirit. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, we have life in your name. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, in whose spirit they have been reborn, and by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. With you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief, you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, today I'm sure you're filled up with your little Easter bunnies, bunnies, the marshmallow bunnies, and you had enough chocolate to make it through another year. Today is a beautiful day uh, of the Divine Mercy Sunday. It reminds me of the graciousness of the Lord in his resurrection and the meaning of what his death and resurrection really is all about. One of the things that has always struck me and uh, has uh, affected me through the years is uh, that statement of uh, Thomas, the doubter, when he says after touching Christ's wounds in his hands and on his side, my Lord and my God. Through the years uh, as a priest, every time I genuflect after instituting the Blessed Sacrament in the host, I always say that prayer. Because for me, it's a proclamation of the reality in which I have just touched the wounded and resurrected presence of Christ in my hands and a real sense of his presence and divine love for me as I genuflect. This reality is something that we should ponder over and over again. For for the abundance of God's goodness in giving us his son still on earth and still living among us, even though hidden, is quite, quite a statement of faith, a statement which most people don't believe, but we live by because that abundance helps us in so many ways. In saying that we believe and that we really embrace the presence of Christ in our lives, we come to know him as a companion. He walks our path. He comes to take care of us, has a concern for us, 
and is always with us. What could be more intimate than coming into our very bodies? He is our healer. He died on the cross that we may be forgiven of our sins. And so as we look at him in the presence and receive him, we recognize the power of his cure for us each time that he comes to us. He is our guide of love because if anything, the Eucharist shows an unbelievable self-surrender of a person into bread and wine, into the symbols that are his real presence. And also goes back to the reality of his death on the cross and emptying, a selfless emptying of us, himself for us. Just imagine through the centuries, Jesus has been present with each and every person that calls himself Catholic. Jesus is also one that offers communion. We receive him, but he actually receives us and brings us to the Father. When we receive the body of Christ, we are actually in communion with his Father in the power and love of the Spirit. And so we become Jesus' brothers and sisters, God's sons and daughters, we celebrate this reality today. The divine mercy of God given to us in the Eucharist. St. Faustina over and over again shared in many of her writings the power of the Eucharist, the abundance of salvation that it gives each one of us each day. Let us gently bow our heads to the Lord. Let us kneel before him and say with Thomas, my Lord and my God. Please rise. I believe God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Thrown under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of body, and life everlasting. Amen. Trusting in the divine mercy of our God, let us place before our Lord the Savior, the needs, and petitions that burden us and the world. For the Church of God, may it be of one heart and one mind in bearing the peace of the risen Lord to the ends of the earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, For nations at war, may politicians and diplomats work tirelessly to end violence and promote justice and goodwill. We pray to the Lord. For all who reject the Lord and his resurrected life, that divine mercy may wash away their doubt. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who have died, for those who suffer during these trying times, and for all the personal mass intentions we bring before the Lord in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Peaceful and loving God, hear our prayers that with joy and thanksgiving we may praise you always through Christ our Lord.
pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, forever and ever, all the holy church. Amen. 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 Accept, O Lord, the oblation of your people and those you have brought to new birth, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you more gloriously when Christ our Passover was sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who takes away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed death. And by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together in the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, George Leo, the bishop of this church, me, our unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Grateful for a merciful Lord, for the mercy he shares abundantly in our lives and in the lives of the world. We now heed his command and formed by his divine teaching, dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, God you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy Lord. that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and in our hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he shed his light upon you and give you peace. And may almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God, God. hallelujah.